Hey guys, what's good? This is the third part of my project based blender course for beginners and it's the best place to start learning blender because I will tell you all the basics with real time examples in the software. In this series of tutorials, I'm gonna cover basic subjects like modeling, shading, UV mapping, lighting, rendering and also some rigid body simulations. The whole course is divided into 5 parts and this is the third part where we are going to learn UV mapping. But before that I want to let you know that you can download the project file of this tutorial and all of the other tutorials on my Patreon. Let's get started. So as I said before, we want to put a text on our object. But before that we should know what is UV unwrapping. The process of creating a UV map is called UV unwrapping. The U and V refer to the horizontal and vertical axes of the 2D space. So UV unwrapping basically turn your 3D object to 2D surfaces which is our UV map and we should have UV map to texture our mesh. Now we can easily go to the UV editing workspace and I can see my UV editor on the left and my 3D viewport on the right. If I want to see my UV map, I must go to the edit mode and select the faces of my object which I want to see their UV map. So I press A to select all and I can see the whole UV map of this cube. Now I just delete every part of this cube and I only keep a face. Then I can select it and press U to bring up this UV mapping menu and choose unwrap to reset the UV map. Then if I extrude an edge of this cube to change its shape by selecting it and pressing E and I select all again, I have to unwrap my object to achieve the new UV map. So I press U and I unwrap it then you can see it changed. But this is just a two dimensional object and it's why it unwraps very easily. What if we have a 3D object? Let's try it. I select all and extrude my surface by pressing E to give some depth to it. Then if I press A to select all and unwrap my object again it shows me this error which tells me edge seams may need to be added. Now we need the definition of edge seams. A seam is going to be where our clothes or our 3D object separate to two or many other parts. In order to add seams, firstly make sure that you are in the edge mode, after that select an edge or how many edges you want and press U, then choose mark seam. Then select all and unwrap the object again. Now as you can see in the UV editor, we have our UV map that is separated to three different parts because I added edge seams like this. Okay, so now let's back to our business. I select my bullet and I click here to go to the UV editing workspace. It comes up in the edit mode but if it doesn't, I can press tab to change between edit mode and object mode very easily. As you can see, I select everything but nothing shows itself in the UV editor. And this is because we don't have any UV maps. I press U and I choose unwrap to see if it works or not and I see I need edge seams. I make sure I'm in the edge mode, then I hold alt and I select the center edge of my mesh to select its entire edge loop. Then I press U and I mark seam it. Now if I unwrap my mesh again, I can see the new UV map. But I want to do a few more things. I go to the face mode by clicking here or by the shortcut which is the number 3 on the keyboard. Then I select the top face and the bottom face of my mesh and I mark seam them as well. I unwrap my object again and you can see it got more sensible. I can use this UV map to put my text on my object, although I prefer to do one more thing to make it easier for us. I want to place my text on this area and these faces right, so I add edge seams to the top and the bottom edge loops of this area to separate its UV map. And when I unwrap everything again, you can see this square UV map which is exactly what we want. Now let's add our text to our material. I go to the shading workspace and I add an image texture node in the shader editor. By the way, if you don't know how to work with nodes and add them, you can see the previous part of this course on my channel which was completely about shading and creating materials. After adding image texture node, I click on this open button and I open an image which I have prepared it before in the Photoshop. It's just a black text with a white background and you can use your own text and write anything. Now I want to know how it looks, so I hold Ctrl Shift and I click on the node then I can see a preview of my image texture. I want to customize my workspace to control both UV map and the material. 
I can right click on these borders and choose join area to join them or I can split them by choosing horizontal or vertical split then just click in the areas. I join my 3D viewport to these two file browser and image editor windows to only have the shader editor and the 3D viewport. After that I right click here and I add a horizontal split on my shader editor then I choose UV editor as a second space. I should go to the edit mode and select all by pressing A to control my UV map and I can turn off this show overlays option to get rid of those edges on my mesh. Now we can choose island selection mode in the top left of the UV editor because it helps us to select each UV map separately. You can also switch to vertex, edge or face selection mode if you need. I select every UV map but the one we want to place our text on it. Then I move them out of the range of the image. Press G to move UV maps, R to rotate them and S to change their scale. We should choose extent instead of the repeat for this option in the image texture node to say that we don't want this image to stay living in the sides. After that I can select the island that I wanted to place my text on it. Then I scale it up by pressing S and I move it by pressing G to fit the text with my object. I can also turn the show overlays on to place it at the center with higher sensitivity. You can even rotate it 90 degrees in order to change it to horizontal mode. Just play with these shortcuts, G to move, S to scale and R to rotate and find the best place for your text. After we set up our UV map, it's time to make it visible in our material and I'm going to do it in 3 different ways. But before that I'm going to connect the UV input of the texture coordinate to the vector of the image texture node to make sure that it isn't going to change at all. Then I add a color ramp node then I connect the image of the image texture to the factor of the color ramp. Now the white color is our background and the black color is the text color. I should change the white color to my main color in the principal BSCF by copying this color and pasting it as the white color. You can hover on the colors and press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste them. Then I choose a similar darker color as the black one. Now I can connect the color to the principal BSCF node and see the change. This was the first way we could make our text visible on our object. The second way is added to the roughness. I can add another color ramp to connect it with the roughness like we did a similar thing in the last part. I add a mix RGB node and I set it to darken instead of the mix. I increase the factor to 1 and I connect the noisy roughness to the first color and the text color ramp to the second one. Now I just display the mix node to see what it does. I connect the color to the roughness and we can see the text that is very shiny. So I'm going to change the black color of its color ramp to a more gray one. And the last way of adding a text to your object that I want to show you is by adding a bump node. So I add one and I connect the normal of that to the normal of the bump node we added for the noises in the last part in order to mix them together. I connect the color of my image texture to the height of the new bump node and as you can see it's like it gets into the mesh. Then we can control the strength of the bump node to make it look better. We can even have more control on it by adding a color ramp before the bump node and make the image more contrasty. And yeah guys, you can play with the values, colors, UV maps and so on to customize your object. We are done with this part guys, I hope you got something useful from this tutorial and if you did, please share it with your friends and people you think they need it to they use it as well. And at last I want to give a shout out to my patrons and I want to say thank you for your support, I do appreciate it and it helps me to create more high quality content. Thanks for watching and goodbye.